so that when you get into that new relationship, you're not looking for it from them because you already realize you could do it on your own. It's a rainy day in Dallas. Uh, it hasn't really rained like this since I moved here. But on rainy days, I always feel like cooking. So I said, why not? Let's do a what I... Can y'all hear that thunder in the background? What I eat in a day video. And chat with y'all too. So, um... I just did a video about um, when it's time to let go of something, it's time to let go. If you haven't checked out that video, please go stop stop this video and go over there and watch that video. Um, I'm making pancakes. I feel like making pancakes with these hash browns, hot link, and... Maybe some eggs? Probably not any eggs. I don't know if I want eggs. But I just finished working out. So I wanted to cook. Also, um, so I've been in two relationships, like back to back, that they're, they both lasted a little over four years and I felt like I dated the same person but in a different body and I'm trying to understand like how does that happen like there's a reason why I me and that person not together no more so why would I then go into a new relationship uh carry gold butter oh and i'm using the auntie jemima's um why would i then go into a new relationship with the same the same issues and the same problems S same trust issues the same communication issues the same controlling issues just like why would why would I and then I had to sit there and realize I have a I have a a word coming in I feel like we tend to bring in the same thing that we procreate in our mind so if we feel like we don't deserve better that is what we're gonna get I'm not saying that these men weren't good men they were good men they just weren't good men for me and it took me a while to realize like yo like I'm okay, like, I'm okay with it just being me. A lot of times we sit here and just we feel like we have to be in a relationship or we don't take the necessarily necessary steps to um to heal because i jumped from one relationship to the next this is the longest i've been single and i've been single for like what like a year almost two years now I've been single for a minute, guys, and I felt incomplete for a very long time because I program in my mind like I should I should be in a relationship. I see all my friends and family happy in a committed relationship. What's my issue? I don't have an issue. It's just not meant for me right now, and that's okay. I'm not saying I'm not meant to be in a relationship, but I ain't meant to be with somebody else. I'm meant to take care of myself and grow myself and 
nurture myself and be one with myself and love myself and then I'll be able to deal with somebody else ah, I messed it up <laughs> dang it I messed up my pancake um but yeah I just was sitting here just wondering about that like I this is the longest I've been single like I've gone on dates I've um, entertained prospects and stuff but it hasn't been anything serious and this has been a long time and I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would get to the I always thought I would be in a relationship I always thought that um I was meant to be in a relationship. This is what 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 I meant to do. And it's okay that it's not. Like <laughs> life is not ending. I'm still prospering. I'm still doing my stuff. I still got the same issues if you want to keep it a buck that I had when I was in the relationships. Things are much better now. Um which is a good thing, praise be to God. But it's all right, y'all. Take care of yourself first. Plant your seeds first. Go on dates by yourself. Go on trips by yourself. So that when you get into that new relationship, you're not looking for it from them because you already realize you could do it on your own. So if they want to play these gnarly games, that's fine. I can handle my scandal. I don't need you. I want you, but I don't need you. Does that make sense? Anyways, I'm rambling, but I'm going to show y'all what I have for breakfast when I'm finished, okay? So that's my breakfast. It don't look that good, but it's good. It's two pancakes, uh, one hash brown thingy that I got from Walmart and a beef link i like mine's kind of burnt so yeah i'm gonna probably put some honey on the top because i don't have any uh syrup and yeah that's it so this is my dinner um just some broccoli a chicken leg um shake and bake is chicken leg and then a few crackers um I wanted some avocado, but I am all out of avocado. So, yeah, the broccoli I just sautéed in butter with lemon and um, Cajun season. And then the shake and bake is the crispy, uh, the extra crispy version. Yeah, so that's my dinner. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb.